Good morning. This is uh, Shomnath Chattopadhyay from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Indian School of Mines, Dhanbad. Today we are going to discuss about a very relevant topic that is drawing, drawing of where, drawing of bar. As it is revealed from the title slide that in one side the raw material is fed and another side through the die it is pulled with force and that way bar or where we can manufacture. It is a very popular way of manufacturing for rod and bars. So, this is the main constituent of those where or bar drawing machine, the die part. This approach angle which is very important which is having a some gradient allow the raw material to enter, but it will start squeezing and the entry zone where it is entered and where it is approached that is approach and approach part which is making a some angle the linear one along with the horizontal axis that is known as approach angle. Then it will be straight, it is not angular, it will be just horizontal that is known bearing surface that has to take the entire bearing of all those reduced uh, element of those raw material. And this back relief angle, the reason is that uh, so that this part will not have any kind of interference with those produced surfaces that is known as back relief angle. And the work is reduced, the diameter of those wear or the bar is reduced if they are pulling through the die. A very clever method of the pulling the die is that initially it is the coiler, coiler will just pull it out or drop coiler will pull it out. And once it is uh, finished, then it is also having some welded with those the previous one, so that the pulling is going on and it can be a continuous process. So, this is the practice, age old practice of the wear drawing uh, plants. So, what is wear and bar drawing? It is in the context of bulk deformation. Bulk deformation we have already told that the bulk deformation is means volume is more, surface area is less. Drawing is an important operation in which the cross section of a bar, rod or wear is very popular for wear and also for rod and bar. It is reduced by pulling it through a die opening as it is revealed in the a previous figure and the general features of the process are very similar to extrusion. The only difference is that the wear is pulled or the bar or the road is pulled instead of pushed. It will not be pushed by ram or other things, it will be pulled and most of the cases the drop coiler or the coiler will be responsible for pulling those things and sometimes people are using uh, after that uh, wear drawing machine after it is going through some some uh, through the rollers set of rollers that is called straighteners so that the wavy pattern and other things are not there. So, one can see pretty well what is the uh, schematic diagram of the wear drawing process. This is a representative sketch of a wear drawing process. It is asked that represent wear drawing in terms of sketch. So, it is a very representative sketch of wear drawing. Starting stock with D suffix 0 that means D original and it will be converted to D final the starting stock and alpha is the approach angle the draw die is associated and L suffix C is the contact angle where the angular part of these die will be interacting with the job and which is responsible for squeezing into the df diameter and the final work size will be this and it is drawn by the force f. So, this is a schematic classical representation of drawing of bar or rod or wear. So, the difference in that work is pulled through a die in drawing where it is pushed through the die in extrusion. But the bar is solid, it is no way hollow, hollow drawing is difficult option. 
So, mainly the solid one, but hollow extrusion is very much possible. And uh, there is no options called indirect drawing, it is all are direct drawing. So, although the presence of tensile stress is obvious because we are pulling it out, but the compression also has a plays a role because in the squeezing of those uh, angular part of the die, the approach that will reduce. So, the metal is squeezed down and passes through the die opening. And for this reason, the deformation that occurs in drawing is sometimes referred to as indirect compression. It is compression, but indirect compression. And there is a very important technique associated with the die because the die gets wear and tear with lot of use. So, people use that is not written in the conventional textbook. The die is again then go for the die grinding machine with some diamond type so that the holes are bigger. So, they are using for the uh, some other uh, stage of reduction because wear drawing is a multi stage process. So, in one go we can reduce, but if the die is these contour of the internal contour of the die is uh, worn out, so then again it is reground. So, the bigger hole and the bigger hole is used for the further reductions of the bigger uh, die to smaller die, but that smaller die is bigger than whatever it is used here. So, that way the reuse of the die is possible, it is done uh, very cleverly in all those wire drawing units. So, the difference of bar drawing and wire drawing is that stock size that processed. So, stock size where bar is used for large diameter, bar is large and rod and while the wear is small diameter. So, that is the difference between the bar and the wear. And the wear size downs to 0 0.03 millimeter or 0 0.001 inch a possible in wear drawing. And the ductility of the material is definitely relevant uh, which we can draw the more the ductile more we can form the finer wear associated with that. Although the mechanics of the process are the same for the two cases, the methods, equipment and even the terminologies are somewhat different with the bar and wear, but uh, mechanism is the same. Bar drawing is accomplished as a single draft operation, single draft in one go you just reduced and the stock is pulled through die opening, the single part, but because of the beginning of the stock has a larger diameter, it is in the form of state cylindrical piece. So, it is not uh, put into the coil part of it and on the basis of that it is done. So, as it is a bigger diameter, so it is not easy to make a coil out of it. So, that is why uh, it is not coil, but in case of where it is coiled, so that we are using decoiler and coiler or drop coiler in case of manufacturing the or producing these wear drawing. But in case of uh, bar or other things, it is a cylindrical outlet and it cannot be made coil both for the entry level and also for the exit one. This limits the length of the work that can be drawn necessitate a batch type of production. So, smaller batches are possible because we cannot coil it out. So, keeping all those things in a in the stack and other things that becomes a really challenging option. That is why the size of bar drawing or raw drawing is limited, but in case of wear drawing it is very big to some extent unlimited. The reason is that we can coil the product of a very, very high and great length. That is true for decoilers while feeding, it is also true for the product output of those wear drawing machine. So, that is the advantage of wear drawing because infinitely large batch size we can maneuver. The reason is that we because of the coiling. So, by contracts wear is drawn from coils, this is what we are telling that of several hundreds or even several thousand feet of wear and it is passed through a series of draw dies, not one, but many and through that we can go for that and we can also pull further by doing some kind of welding operation with one section to the other. So, the number of dies uh, vary typically between 4 to 12 and this is done in series that is done for the wear drawing operation. 
and the terms continuous drawing is used to describe the operation it is a continuous because uh, the long production runs are achieved with wear coils coils their capacities is very big lot of materials lot of length they can easily coil down to a smaller places and can be butt welded each next to make the operation truly continuous so huge amount of length one can do in one go so the productivity is terrific and people are using butt welding so that uh, the they pull it don't have to do the hassles of segregation and further pulling so one is uh, just joined with the other and according to that it is pulled so that is the biggest advantage is that according to that uh, one can draw uh, length after length without any stoppage of the machine so productivity is very very high so the maximum uh, reduction per pass that is uh, required to achieve the desired reduction in wear drawing and that is limited not to take the entire reduction in a single pass whatever we are telling that it is a it 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 is an iterative process it is done stepwise not by <coughs> not by just one uh, single draft reduction so the from those uh, different equation it is clear that these reduction increases with the draw stress increases if the reduction is big the draw stresses are big and the reduction large enough draw stresses will exceed exceed the deal strength of the entire uh, exceeding material and when that happens draw wear will simply elongate it <coughs> instead of the new material being squeezed through the die opening and that is done in wear drawing process so for wear drawing to be successful maximum draw stress must be less than the yield strength of the exceeding material <coughs> that has to be judiciously um, planned so that the unnecessary elongation will not take place so that unnecessary elongation beyond the yield state is not an welcoming phenomena so hydraulically operated draw bench this is the figure where the hydraulic cylinders are used in order to draw those things and the entry table the starting stock is coming and starting stock is entering into that uh, die stand then the drawn bars are there with a carriage and hydraulic uh, cylinder they are put together and the the exit part is ensured a typical configuration of continuous drawing of the wear so initial wear stock they are rolled in some coils and with after some some turns it is just putting into the die for the pass in a linear way then again it is uh, done some kind of coils and again it is passed through another die with some sh lateral shifting then again it will be coiled and then go for the product so continuously so one uh, one coiler uh, is acting as a pulling agent and one coil decoiler is just rolling back to rewind uh, in order to provide all those feed and that way the entire entire tandem in way those were are produced linearly and a huge length can be produced in one go and some lubricants are also used so that the pulling and other things becomes easy so that there are some third body participant between the die uh, internal die surfaces and the material so next uh, the uh, draw die for the drawing of the round and were and we will find it out all those angles are there in three the porch and these bearing surfaces and back relief angle so entry is uh, uh, just a little bit of uh, inclination but it is just rounded off then the approach is coming with some heavy inclination then it is a flat one that is the bearing surface and then back relief is provided and alpha is the draw die angle this approach angle which is responsible uh, for the squeezing actions of all those the uh, bigger diameter to a smaller one 
So the four regions, four regions of the draw die are there as we have found from the figure. The, the first one is the entry level, the second one is the approach angle, third one is the bearing one which is land which is flat and the th last one is the back relief so that the finished surface has not any interaction, physical interaction possibility with those part of the die so that will provide by the back relief entry will just uh, welcome these rods and approach angle will start squeezing into the different smaller diameter so the entry region what is the entry region it is usually bell shaped so that it is no corners no stress concentrations are allowed so mouth that uh, does not contact with the work it is just grabbing just one snake is just uh, just uh, swallowing the another one and it is with lubricant so that it can enter without much hassles without much uh, interactions with those things and its purpose is to funnel the lubricant so that it is very smooth and easy to the die and prevent scoring of the work and die surfaces no violent uh, vigorous interactions will be there interactions will be there when they have already entered and that is the part of the approach so the approach is where the drawing process really occurs the squeezing starts is a cone shaped with an angle half angle normally ranging from 6 to 20 degree depending upon what level of squeezing we can do more ductile the material more more aggressive those approach angle can be or half angle can be if it is not that ductile so we have to be in the defensive one and the proper angle varies according to the work material obviously because it depends upon the ductility how 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 easily it can be squeezed to the smaller diameter and the bearing surface of the land determines the size of the final drawn step. Once it is squeezed, then it is allowed to stay a steady state. So that no further reduction, it will just allow those things to happen uh, just for a some part of the length that is known as the bearing surfaces. And the back relief is definitely to, to minimize the vigorous interaction between the finished surface and the die the reason is that so that the finished surface is escape un, unhindered with the dry surfaces so those whatever the finished surface that is maintained it is a clearance type of angle in case of the tool it is provided with a back uh, relief angle half angle of uh, about maybe say 30 degree and that will allow to passage without any further friction or interactions and the draw dies are made of tool steel or a cemented carbide why cemented carbide because they are very great wear resistant what is wear unintended removal of material and wear resistance means that uh, very difficult to take out the material so carbides can provide you these these wear resistance of the tool steel so that they can retain its surfaces even if rigorous interaction with those drawing at the time of squeezing so less wear and tear so tool steel and the cemented carbides can provide uh, very good die surfaces retention because we need retention of the surfaces and the dies for high speed wear drawing operation frequently use inserts to make diamond why inserts easy to remove easy to remove and those inserts are made of very very um, wear resistant and hard material like say diamond or the synthetic and natural so that uh, they are they are very wear resistant and why it is uh, inserts so it is easy removal of all those things and those properties because the outer properties of the um, uh, peripheral properties of the die will be tough and the front end properties will be hard and hard is not that tough so if it is implemented by some kind of inserts just like our nails in our fingers so that will be great and the advantage of the inserts is are it is easy to replace hard easy to replace so multiple purposes are served if we have those wear resistant inserts easy to replace and uh, the enter part if it is made of that diamond or those things that toughness will be less though dry breakage and other things possibility will be there. the tough uh, tough uh, material will support those things back end in the front end it is very hard 
and inserts can implement these kind of strategies in a very clever way. So draw stress uh, from the different equation, it can be clear that the increase the draw stress if the reduction increases draw stress and the reduction is large enough, the draw stress will exceed the yield strength and when it happens, simply elongation and all those things will occur. And this is the biggest problem of all those things associated with those things. And we have to, we have to provide that appropriate calculations of all those yield strengths so that the wear can be simply uh, simply go for the reduction and simply uh, instead of new material being squeezed through that if lot of uh, tension is there so that has to be ensured so all those things have to be uh, very critical and for drawing to be successful maximum draw stress must be less than the yield strength of the exiting material exiting material also having some yield strength and that should be the less otherwise exiting material and other things will be permanently deformed so that we do not want to have and this is the basic purpose of going through those uh, drawing operations and these are the basic postulates related to that. Thank you and thank you very much for your patient hearing.